Well, hello everybody. I am back in my kitchen today, but I'm not cooking. I'm gonna be talking to you about how to style a sweater vest. And I don't know if y'all have already seen the fall fashions and winter fashions that are hitting the stores, but the sweater vest is one of the second time around kind of pieces that we'll be seeing this fall. And of course, we saw a bit of it last year. It is to me very like 70s boho or 90s um, preppy. Of course, back then uh, in the 90s anyway, when I was very young, uh, we would wear them fitted and they hit a, a natural waist and they weren't too long, they weren't too short. Right now what we're seeing is like this one I held up, a very loose kind of slouchy uh, silhouette or a short boxy, might be a little loose, might be fitted. But those are the two main ways. Of course, you will see some of the standard sweater vests for those who are a little more classic and tailored like me. Um, I do have a couple of pictures, I think, of me in my 90s sweater vest. I had, one, I had a couple, but um, my very favorite was blue, gold, and white, and I wore it all summer long it was cotton so in texas with a short sleeve shirt underneath you would not burn up if you choose to get one with a little wool in it which i think this one has whew, you are going to sweat and this one i was taking some photos earlier for this vlog in this sweater and I thought a couple of times I was just going to die. You know what? I am not seeing what's in here. Oh, wait. Okay. I see it in another language. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it in a language I can read. Okay. It is 64% polyester, 30% acrylic, and 6% wool. Texans don't need wool. <laughs> but they say we're going to have a really cold winter, so maybe... Maybe I will need it this year. I do go to Missouri a lot, so I'm definitely uh, positive I'll get to wear it up there. But anyway, I wanted to give you some ideas so that when you go shopping, if you fall in love with a sweater vest, you'll know what's going to work best for you. Now today, I'll be styling the one I have in front of me. And it is crew neck, plain, just weave. Uh, with slits on the side, a little bit shorter in the front than it is than it is in the back, but it's just kind of classic in color, classic in design. I thought I would get more wear out of it, being just classic. I will pop a couple of other um, options below for you to look at. There were some cute cabled ones on Amazon. So I was thinking about maybe grabbing one of those. There were also some really cute, like uh, there was one that came to mind, it was houndstooth, and I can just see that being dressed down with jeans and a white shirt, maybe some boots, or dressed up with black, you know, dress pants and black pumps and a white shirt. So lots of great options. And of course, it's great to have an extra layer if it is cold or if you're not sure how the day is going to go. It's something you could add or take off. So, you know, it, it's a practical piece, but also a fun piece to um, change up a few things in your wardrobe. So let me start with the basic. The, the sweater vest that I purchased has a very large armhole much larger than my arm. So there is a bit of bra that will show if you don't wear something else underneath. I have noticed some YouTubers deciding to go that route. I've noticed some YouTubers who have just gone without anything underneath. But I personally, um, if I did want to wear it sleeveless, I would definitely be putting a shell underneath. Something that are prevented my bra from showing. There's nothing wrong with my bra, but let's just face it. When you're in a business meeting or 
you know, seeing somebody at the grocery store, you don't want to see their bra. I mean, it's no different really than a swimsuit, but I don't want to see people in their swimsuits either. <laughs> so uh, I just like to have the extra coverage, but that's me, each to their own. So um, I think I have a picture of me with a uh, something underneath so you can kind of get an idea now this is a slouchier sweater so it's good to wear it with maybe you know fitted jeans and then let your top be slouchy or maybe belt it to give a little bit more definition to your waist so you don't just end up looking like a big blob which some of the photos I'm going to be sharing with you, they prob probably aren't my best. Uh, a, because maybe the outfit would look much better on a taller woman, or if I had felt like climbing up and getting down some high heels, might have looked a bit better. The other thing is because I chose to go with something longer, then it's probably not going to be as versatile for me as a short person as if I had have gotten one of the more boxy ones. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. You know, how do you dress? Are you bohemian with the way you dress? Are you classic, casual? Are you looking for it to be a piece that you wear to work? I mean, think about all that before you go shopping. You may want to get a couple, uh, maybe a more fitted sweater vest that will work well at work. You know, I could see them real easily going over a nice, you know, sheath dress to just change it up a little bit or a skirt and a top, but also, you know, pants and a shirt. The slouchier ones I definitely see at football games and cozy days out drinking pumpkin spice latte, you know, shopping with your girlfriends or something such as that. So lots of great options. So for me, um, let's start with a few of the basics. So like I was saying, my sweater vest that I chose is a bit more casual just in the nature of it being more slouchy, more tunicky looking and um, just the silhouette for me makes it that way. Now the weave, the coloring, they're very classic and could be dressed up. So I'm not totally saying it can't be dressed up. I'm just saying you're gonna have to work a little harder to get there. But the basic I would say with this sweater vest would be fitted jeans. And in the photo that I'm gonna share with you, I am wearing a blue and white striped shirt. I believe it's a traditional fit, not too big, not too little. It, uh, with a sweater over it and a pair of navy blue loafers. I don't know if you'd be able to see that in the photo, but I really do feel like it's a day of the football game or visiting, you know, your kid in college or going out to lunch with a friend or whatever it may be. It doesn't look bad but you're not dressed up. It's not necessarily work wear, but it is a very classic way to wear a sweater vest. I mean, literally, you know, maybe the picture that I dropped in of me and my blue and white striped sweater vest was, I believe, jeans and a white t-shirt. So pretty traditional in its look. Now, I also like the sweater vest. I'll show you a picture of a pair of a green, kind of an army green or khaki green uh, jegging, jean legging with a cotton popover blouse that's got some of the army green in it, some of the off-white, a little tan and a little blue. And again, I, I think I've put it with brown boots and a brown belt, just little ankle boots. Looks really cute. Uh, not necessarily the same old blue jeans that you normally see. Adds a little bit of color, but still a casual, nice, comfortable outfit that you would enjoy, you know, hanging out with your family or running around town doing your errands or whatever it may be. Then another option for you, which is a little bit more dressy, I have on some kind of 
stretchy uh, black pants. I will put below a pair of Spanx that I will wear with them, but I think actually the pair of pants that I have in the photo that I'm putting in are actually Talbots, as were the army green pants. The blue jeans are Slim Stations, and the reason I chose those was because even though it is a thick sweater that does add bulk, if you have a zipper right on your belly and then you put a sweater on top of it, it's going to make your belly seem a little bit more rounded than it probably is. So if you choose the Slim Stations or a pair of jeans that don't have a zipper in the front, or something like my black pants that I have on have a side zipper, then that just keeps extra bulk from your midsection. And for me, you know, that's a problem area for me. And so I don't want to add anything there that I don't have to. So um, the black pants that I mentioned are from Talbot's. And with that, I put just a classic white button down shirt. I believe that one is also from Talbot's. And then even though it is a off-white sweater vest, it looks perfectly fine with a white shirt. That's again a very classic look and not anything you have to worry about. And I believe I did end up putting a black belt over that. So I prefer a skinny belt just because I am shorter and right now my midsection is a little big, but um, if you're taller, definitely you can get away with larger belts. If you are thinner in your waist, then I don't think it's bad to have, even if you are shorter, to have a wider belt. So play around with it, see what works best for your proportions and what you're comfortable with. So I think, I really do think all of our bodies are different and so we can follow the rules and probably be fine but every now and then it's just good to see what actually looks good to us what feels good which is equally as important to what looks good and really what gives the look that you're going for so never hurts to try something out at home and see if you like it so with the black pants I chose to go with I cannot remember what shoe I put I might have put I put a pair of metallic, like gunmetal metallic flats, and that was just because they were within reach. But that outfit would look really good, I think, with a pair of high heel suede boots or a classic pump. You can never go wrong. But that is actually an outfit that I think looks very nice in an office, especially if you're just an average, you know not too formal kind of an office. If it's your business suit kind of an office, chances are a longer sweater vest isn't gonna work for you. You're gonna go need to go with something shorter so you can wear a jacket over it. But I believe, let's see, what other photos do I have? I have one more, and that is the sweater over what we used to call back in the day a prairie dress. I think that's what they were called in the 70s and early 80s, but now they're known as maxi dresses. So you know what I'm talking about, the tears, the flounce, kind of the, you know, ditzy floral and very feminine vibe. So if you, I think I would look better in a shorter sweater dress with that particular sweater vest, with that particular dress. But, you know, it is something that, especially if I were running around in town and felt a little bit of a chill, I don't think it looks too bad to wear. I would probably want to put on some lace-up boots, kind of grainy boots. I think that would be cute with the outfit. Kind of definitely a throwback vibe for sure with, you know, a throwback dress and a throwback sweater and throwback boots. I think it would be really cute. But um, even if you were a hat person, that would be really great with a floppy black felt hat. Who can't say, <laughs> say that all together. But those were some of the ideas I had for you. Obviously, I didn't take a picture, but it would be great with a mini skirt going out, uh, maybe a pop of color underneath, maybe a black leather mini skirt and a black 
shirt with this on top and a big black belt that just seems so going out to me. Uh, you could also, for the office, put on more knee length black skirt and same top, same belt, and there you have a work outfit. Now, if you're going for a boxier silhouette, again, I would probably keep what I wear underneath very fitted because a lot of the boxy that I'm seeing is going to hang loose on you. So if you did like the wider palazzo pants, then you might run the risk, unless you're a, a tall lady, you're probably going to run the risk of looking larger than you are because you're going to have a lot of girth added with the material. But uh, there are still some really cute silhouettes you can do with a boxier uh, sweater vest. If you aren't really into style so much, but you do want to pay a little bit of homage to what's going on right now in the style world, then I would look for a very traditional, if you're going for a boxy, get a little more fitted with your box. If you want to try more just the classic sweater vest, then of course you want it to hit at your waist and not be too tight, but not be too too loose. You could still pull it down and wear a belt on it if you wanted. Um, you still have options. Now, if you are, if you dress your guy or if you are a guy, there are sweater vests out there for men too. What I saw a lot of when I looked around was the classic, you know, off-white or black, maybe even some white, but I'm sure there's going to be the traditional argyles and the classic looks as well. So again, think of what works for you. Um, I definitely could see the argyle, a white button-down shirt, maybe the uh, sleeves rolled up, pair of jeans, and driving moccasins, moccasins like Todd's maybe for a guy. That would be a great uh, weekend look football game look, hanging around the house, going out with the guys, kind of a look, just casual but still stylish and masculine. I think that would just look great. Um, obviously, you could mix a sweater vest with dress slacks or colored jeans or I wouldn't do a suit because obviously a sweater vest isn't as dressy as a business suit would be. But there are other kinds of vests for that. So if you're a vest kind of guy, you know, just get you a, a dressy vest or a three-piece suit instead of a two-piece and you'll be good to go. But that's my thoughts on a sweater vest. I would love to know how you plan on rocking a sweater vest this season. And were you going to go with the larger slouchy look? Or are you going to go with the more boxy short? Or are you going to go with the classic kind of, I'm going to say 90s because I love the 90s, but... I don't want to call it a 90s and then you think, oh, it's out of date. No, it's still in date. It's just more classic. So uh, I'd love to know which kind of sweater vest you'll be wearing this season. And I'd love to also see pictures of you in your sweater vest. So send those below as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If you aren't already a subscriber, if you would, hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday morning and I would love to have you back each week to see what new and crazy things I'm into. So thanks again for watching and I will see you back next week. Bye.